After capturing the nation's attention Wednesday night with their win over West Virginia, Marquette ultimately bows out of New York in the Big East tournament to the tune of an 81-56 Louisville victory and a three-point attack that was too much for Buzz Williams' team. I think any time a team scores 50% of their points from the three-point line, it's probably going to be a long night. I thought we were okay uh, at times in the first half, and I thought we were really bad uh, in the second half. Uh, but to, to play the 14th ranked team in the country uh, who's had five days off, who's been studying us live um, since we got here, to say that the reason they beat us the way they did was because we had no legs, I think is a soft answer. And uh, I don't think we've been soft um, since we've been here. So I, I, I don't want to leave here with a soft response. Is the three-point defense, is that a concern? And, and how do you address something like that going forward into the tournament? Uh, I don't think that's a concern. You know, some games, some games we're, we're good at three-pointers. Some games we're not. And, um, I think it starts with us containing the ball. Uh, they, they forced help. They, was, they, was, they just kept attacking us. And then when we closed the gaps, they found the shooters, and they kept knocking them down. So, you never know. Uh, some teams have nights like that. Some teams don't. The, the Big East season can provide so many highs, so many lows. You've got to be the leader through it all. What do you say to your group after tonight? Here, we landed in New York not knowing conclusively what it is that we had to do. I thought we played really well against Providence. Um, and then, you know, the people that still thought that we had work to do, whether that was uh, true or not, I thought our guys responded last night. And... Um, when you think about the last 23 days of our guys' lives, emotionally, mentally, and physically, um, there have been a, a roller coaster of ups and downs. And I thought that uh, through it all, at the very end, they answered the bell. And I thought that their character was revealed. And that's that's what I said in the locker room. Uh, Buzz told us, don't hang your heads. Like, you know, after the um, after the game, he told us not to hang our heads, keep your heads up, because cause we're not done playing basketball. It feels good to know that um, we were a decent team in the best conference in the country. Uh, I think we work hard, and, you know, at the end of the day, like Buzz said, we get our name called on Sunday, which is a dream that everybody on my team has had since we were little. Uh, we're one of 37 teams that will have their name announced as an at-large team on Sunday. And... Um, this previous Sunday, we were practicing at 10 o'clock in the morning doing the things that we did on the first day of practice, not knowing where we would be playing or if our name would be announced. So I think that that speaks to all of the guys that are in the locker room, our players, our assistants, um, our managers, our support staff, because I think it's, it's been a hard grind over the last 23 days. After the game, there was a feeling of defeat in the locker room, but the players also echoed what Jimmy Butler said in his press conference, saying that this is something they've worked for their entire basketball careers, and in particular, Chris O'Toole told me he's excited to show the nation why his hard work and the hard work of his teammates will finally pay off come Selection Sunday. From Madison Square Garden in downtown Manhattan, Brad Galley, MUTV Sports.